Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long-time speakers to test drive new talk ideas. If you would like to give a 10-minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now, we have Cal Evans is going to talk about RFCs of the future, void return type. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Cal some feedback. Cal, take it away. Thank you, Joe. Although you said it wrong, it is RFCs of the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My son did that for me. I was very proud of that. Hey, um, PHP 7 is old hat. It's old news. Everybody's got it. Now we're looking forward to PHP 7.1, and we've got a whole new round of RFCs. So this is something I'm going to try out. I blatantly stole this idea from a member of my user group, the um, Palm Beach PHP user group, part of the South Florida um, user group um, consortium. And um, so I'm going to try this out. We're going to cover two RFCs tonight. And if this works out, we might do it more. If this doesn't work out, if nobody likes this, or if you give me bad um, votes on um, joined in, then I promise I won't do this anymore this month. So let's talk about return types. They are a changing. In 7.0, in PHP 7.0, we got this great thing um, for methods and functions called return types. We could put, after the end of a method signature, we could put colon and tell it what it's expected to return. But there's a problem with that. Right? So there's two problems. The return type had to be exactly that. If you said int, it was a contract with whatever deity you believe in, it could not be changed, and it had to be an int. Well, sometimes you don't know the answer. And so a lot of us, um, especially with things like ints, we resorted to silly little tricks like, okay, I won't return a positive number, I'll return a negative number, and I'll tell my code if it's a negative number, then it means this. Well, that's stupid, okay? So what we need to be able to do is say, I'm going to return an int or I'm going to return null. And the other problem was there are some methods that do things and don't return things. They're action methods, and these don't need to return things, but if everything else has got a return type, it just kind of looked like we forgot what we were doing and didn't bother to put a return type on there. So we fixed both of these with two RFCs, um, PHP RFC nullable types and PHP RFC void return type. And at the end of this presentation, I will give you both uh, give you the URLs for both of these. They're both out on the wiki. You can take a look at them. I believe they've already both been voted on past, and they are in PHP 7.1. So the first thing, RFC nullable types. Basically, if you look there at the code, you'll see a question mark. We now have, um, this introduces question mark return type. So you can see I can say question mark int. That means I can return an int or I can return null. So null is fine. 42 is fine. Standard class is not fine. Horrible things will happen if you try to break this. You can return an int or a null. If you return anything else, kittens die. No, not really. Don't tell people I said kittens are going to die. But seriously, bad things will happen. It will actually throw a type error, um, and then you can catch it um, up in your class if you're catching errors or um, the or anything, if you've got a try catch in there. So, But the question mark is the important part. Question mark int means null or int but nothing else. Now, a couple rules. Nullable, that question mark, cannot be added in a subclass. If you have a base class and you have a um, method do this and it returns an int, if you subclass that class and you override do this, you can't at that point say question mark int. Once it's there, it cannot be, um, or once it, if it's not there, it cannot be added. It can, however, be removed in a subclass. See, I've got interface, I've got an interface foolable and a function foo, and that returns an instance of foolable or null. Now I'm returning foo here. And I'm extending it, and I'm returning a foolable. That's valid because I'm overriding this one, and I'm getting rid of the question mark. Now null is not valid. However, if I set it as foolable, I can't go back and add the or null right here. It's very important. 
This also applies to method parameters. Now, this is syntactical sugar, okay, because we've always been able to say, I could have said right here, um, function foo f equals null, and everybody knows that if I don't pass something in, that'll be um, null. But while we're at it, let's make everything look the same. So I can say question mark foobal f, and that means I can either pass in a foobal as my first parameter, or I can pass in a null or leave it blank, and everything's going to um, work. Of course, the same rules apply. Um, the same, uh, these same rules apply. You can't add it, or you cannot um, add it in a subclass. Uh, or you, nullable cannot be added, cannot be uh, added in a subclass and cannot be removed in a, su a subclass. So the same rules as here apply here in the parameters. Boy, I blew that one. Oh, we might re-record this one. Come on, there we go. Okay, so that is the first one. That is um, the nullable return types. The other one that they're trying to solve is the void return type. What if there is no return type? There's a lot of valid instances where you've got a method that does something that doesn't return anything. The, one of the great things about return types is it helps so much with documentation, not only generating PHP docs and stuff like that, but just reading the source code, it makes it immediately um, obvious what this function is supposed to return. Well, if you leave it off, especially if you've got it everywhere else and you leave it off, then you think to yourself, either I forgot that or I, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, now PHP comes in line with a lot of other languages and we're doing the same thing that um, a lot of other languages are doing. We've got the void return type. And all that means is this method returns nothing. Okay, so um, you see three examples here. Uh, lax return, uh, it has a um, colon void. So my return method is void. I don't have a return statement at all. Perfectly valid. The next one, returns nothing, has a return um, type of void. I return, but I don't return anything there. It's just a return statement, which is the proper way to do it. All your methods should actually have a return statement. That's perfectly valid. Return should return nothing. I have a void, but I return an integer of one. This is going to throw a type error because you've specified that this will always return nothing at all. All of a sudden, now you're returning something. That's a problem. Of course, um, you can't use these in um, in parameters. That's just that's just not going to happen. Okay, um, so don't try it there. Um, and of course, they cannot be overridden by inheritance. Um, you can um, have something. Uh, I've got a class here that's foo function that's bar, and I'm returning void. And if I have foo bar that extends foo and public function bar, and now it returns an array, that's not valid. Of course, that's just the same rules that we currently have in 7.0. You can't change return types um, uh, in 7.0 through inheritance, but even if you've specified a void, the void behaves just like the rest of them. You can't override it um, through inheritance. That's it. Here are the two um, RFCs that I've talked about, nullable types and void return types. And I believe, um, oh, I know I'm going to mess this up. Uh, I, I believe uh, Dan Aykroyd, um, Andrea Falds, and Stas were the ones that gave us these um, three new um are these, these the, the, the three of them worked on these two. I'm sorry, Levi Morrison, Dimitri, and Andrea. Levi uh, Morrison and Dimitri gave us nullable types. Andrea gave us um, void return types. So if you happen to run into them at a conference, please, by all means, buy them a beer. Tell them thank you. Um, if you see them on Twitter, it'd be great to say thank you to them for all their hard work. And with that, I am done. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit Joined In and leave Cal some feedback.